Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to insert images into MySQL and then display them in a browser. I'm gonna go ahead and open up NetBeans, go to Projects, New Project, select PHP, and I'm gonna name this project Insert Images to MySQL. I'm also gonna go ahead and go to my Apache directory on localhost and create a new folder and name it insert images to MySQL. And inside of this folder, I'm gonna create two new folders. One of them is gonna hold our images. And the other one is gonna hold the images where we're gonna be uploading them to. So I'm gonna name it web. I'm also gonna go to my pictures folder. And I'm gonna copy a bunch of pictures of cats and then I'm gonna paste them inside the local folder. So those are the cat images that we're gonna be uploading to the web folder. And then we're also gonna be inserting them inside the MySQL database. Okay, so I'm gonna specify, I'm gonna go ahead and browse to this folder I just created. Insert images to MySQL, click open and then finish. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna be reusing the code that we used for multiple file upload video. So here I'm just gonna create a new file, call it index.php, and then I'm gonna go to my OneNote and just copy this multiple file upload source code, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here in our project inside the index.php file. And you guys can go ahead and download the source code from my Patreon page, this is where I keep all my source code and it's inside the upload multiple files and images PHP video under upload multiple files that PHP file. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna rename this and name it insert images to MySQL. And then the first thing that we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and create the, the database where we're gonna be storing our images. So I'm gonna go to localhost, PHP my admin, and then I'm gonna click new. And for the database, I'm gonna name it images, create. For the table, we're gonna have three columns and I'm gonna name this table cats, hit go. And we're gonna have three fields. One, uh, The first one is gonna be ID, the second one is gonna be the name of the image, and the third one is gonna be the directory where the image is stored. So for the ID, we want it to be not null, and it's going to be our primary key with auto increment. For the name, we wanna select varchar, and for the image directory, we wanna select varchar as well. And both of them are gonna be 255 characters long, and uh, they're also gonna be not null, and that's it, that's our table, hit save. And so now we have a database and the table created. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our index file and the first thing we're gonna do is connect to the MySQL database. MySQL I equals new MySQL I, provide the name of the server, local host, provide the username and password, and then the database name, which is images. Or we wanna, if the connection is not successful, we wanna display an error, connection error. And then I also wanna store our table name inside of the table variable named table. So table equals cats. Okay, let's see if everything is working fine so far. If we get any errors or not and uh, everything seems to be working, okay. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is extract the name of the image. So let's see where that's happening. So, so let's go ahead and print the file extension here and see what's inside of it. Pre R file extension and then die. And then I'm just gonna select the images to upload, go to localhost, insert images to MySQL, upload. Okay, so you can see that the the name of the image is stored inside the 
zero array index key and the extension is stored inside of the one index key. So this is the name of the Im image and this is the extension. So we want to use the zero key to get the name of the image. Okay, so here we want to say name equals file ext zero and that's going to be the name of the image. The second thing that we want to do is get the directory of, of the image so that we can later display it in a browser. And we already have that, so let's just go ahead and uh, rename these files to web because that's going to be our new directory. And then I just want to copy this thing here. And then I want to store it inside of a variable called img directory. And then I'm just going to put it here so that the image can still be uploaded. Okay, so now we have the name of the image, we have the directory of the image, and the upload should still be working. We're going to test it out in a little bit. And now all we have to do is insert this data inside of the MySQL database. Okay, so for that we're going to create a SQL statement first. Let's go ahead and do that underneath the upload function and say SQL equals insert ignore into table, which is our table name, and then name directory values going to be name of the image and the actual directory. Don't forget to enclose these variables inside the single quotes. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And that's it for our SQL statement. Now we just want to run this query using our MySQLi connection. Query SQL SQL, SQL or error MySQLi error. Okay, so at this point Everything should be working, the upload, and it should be inserting all of our image names and directories inside of our table. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the cats directory. So this is the local folder where we're going to be uploading the images. Hit open, hit upload, and undefined variable image directory on line 65. Okay, img there is a column name. Let's see, undefined, okay. Oh, it's IMG directory, okay, let's fix that. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, okay, so the field name is wrong, IMG dir is the actual field name. IMG there. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, so the upload seems to be working. Let's go ahead and check the folder web. Okay, all the images have been uploaded, and now let's go back to the our database and see if the image names have been uploaded. And in fact, they have been. So these are all the image names, along with the uh, image directory. Now the image names don't look pretty so far, so let's go ahead and capitalize the first letter of all the names and remove the dashes inside the image names. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just delete all these records for now. And then we're going to format the image name before inserting it inside the uh, MySQL database. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, uh, underneath the name here, let's go ahead and use the preg replace function to replace those uh, dashes. So I'm going to say dash, and we're going to replace all the dashes with a space. Actually, do name. And then also, we're going to capitalize the first letter of the image name, so we're going to use a function called ucwords, which does exactly that. And then let's go ahead and print out the image names just to see what it looks like. 
And as you can see, it's printing out the image name with the first letter capitalized and the dashes should be removed as well. Let's go ahead and test that. So I'm going to remove this now. Okay, so now let's see if the images are being inserted into the MySQL again. Select all the images, hit upload. And um, okay, they have been uploaded successfully. And then let's go to our cats table. And as you can see, the names have been fixed. They don't have the dashes anymore and all the letters have been capitalized. We also have our directories where our images are stored. And so that part of MySQL, uh, of inserting the records inside the MySQL table is working. And now all we have to do is create a display page to display all of our images. So let's go ahead and do that next. I'm gonna go to projects and uh, under source files, I'm gonna create a new file and call it display. Dot PHP. I'm also going to go ahead and create a basic bootstrap template and say for the title display MySQL images. Okay, then I'm going to connect to the MySQL. Oh, first I'm going to open up the PHP tags and then connect to MySQLi using the same exact Thing that we used here so I'm just gonna actually copy that so I don't have to type all of this again so just copy that now we have our MySQL connection okay the next thing we want to do is uh, run a MySQL query to select all the records from our table and we want to store everything inside of a variable called result so we're gonna say MySQL I query and the query is going to be very simple, select star from table. And that's it for the query. Or die MySQLi error. Okay, so now that we have our MySQL result, we want to go ahead and loop through it using a while loop. So we want to say while data equals result fetch a sock. Okay, so what this is gonna do is gonna store our record data inside of the variable called data, and then we can easily access it from inside the loop. So if we test this out here, let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, all the data has been accessed, and so all we have to do now is, is access the associative key, which is name and IMG directory and then we're gonna display that using HTML. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's just display the name inside of the H2 tag. And then I wanna say data name. So that's gonna be the name of our image. And then we wanna use the IMG tag to display the actual image. So IMG SRC equals data and the directory name is actually IMG there. Okay. I'm also gonna say width equals 40% just to reduce the size of the image a little bit and height equals 40% as well. And that should do it. Let's see what it looks like. And I actually forgot to close the IMG tag, so I'm gonna do it here. All right, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's pulling the data from our MySQL database and is displaying the image name and the actual image in a browser. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.